now that we all agree that uh, service provisioning through IMS is the way forward for NGN based uh, service creation and delivery, we need to look at how the overall physical network architecture of uh, uh, for service provisioning is designed. It is known as the uh, Multimedia Communication Center or MCC. Uh, it has some liking to the data center which provides uh, access to data. So again, here it is an access based network for certain services to be offered. So we are going to look at a standardized view on MCC. Uh, we'd look at how uh, threading or uh, uh, multiple client parallel support can be realized through agents. And then we'd look at some uh, um, functional and non functional requirements which are uh, mandatory for MCC to achieve in order to make it scalable, sustainable, and efficient. So the MCC is essentially a standardized way for accessing services. These services are basically the information services which are invoked by either the user or uh, an intermediary like a proxy agent that works on behalf of a user. Now this customer or a user which communicates with MCC uh, can have access to the services which are backend services or which are sometimes actually involved or engaged with the customer. For instance, the IVR, the interactive voice response system or the interactive video and voice response system uh, is, is an example where the IVR servers are placed in the uh, multimedia communication center where uh, this service is invoked when a certain condition requires the IVR to interact with the customer. Um, since uh, we are talking about customers uh, not uh, in a few dozen uh, or thousands but uh, probably millions, in that case the customers would all have to be facilitated in a one-on-one -on -one fashion that is a customer should feel um, a prioritized and uh, customized service. For that, the concept of agents or uh, uh, some kinds of threading mechanism is introduced where each agent talks to a customer in a one-on-one -on -one basis. So it means uh, some kind of uh, agent which is class-based object can be thought about where multiple customers can be treated in parallel through multiple agents which are created on the fly. For instance, if a certain uh, chat service is to be utilized, uh, like uh, uh, for instance, uh, Skype or WhatsApp, in that case, multiple agents have to be uh, provisioned to cater for individual customers. Uh, when this happens, it actually means that the uh, MCC is now going to have uh, a business relationship. Uh, this business relationship implies uh, billing and uh, charging. For that, uh, we need to look at the stakeholders which would be now involved with the communication center. Uh, it is the customer itself, the enterprise which houses such MCC and uh, the network provider or the NGN operator uh, which connects the customer with the enterprise in which the multimedia communication center is placed. It means that this business uh, relationship would generate uh, business opportunities and revenues um, and it would result into a very thriving uh, ecosystem. Now let's look at uh, some requirements. These requirements are uh, uh, scalable uh, and uh, it's, these requirements are never ending. But for the sake of brevity, we are going to look at the requirements of uh, the Multimedia Communication Center, which look uh, pretty much the requirements like any other large uh, data center or uh, 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 server farm. The first one is extensibility. So uh, the MCC has to be an extensible or an expandable system for increasing number of users. If 
more servers are required to be deployed or if more customers have to be catered for, then extensibility has to be ensured. Then some kind of uh, flexible a variety offering model has to be introduced uh, where the large telecommunication organizations, uh, medium-sized uh, uh, business uh, sectors and small enterprises are all um, entertained and accommodated by this um, communication center. Then the accessibility uh, through wired, wireless, mobile, heterogeneous environment in a transparent manner has to be ensured. Um, the multimedia traffic uh, delivery has to be uh, transparently and seamlessly provided because the nature of uh, multimedia communication center actually implies that any kind of information can be delivered. Uh, sometimes uh, the multimedia communication center can also be deployed in non-IMS networks. Um, this is uh, not very um, uh, frequent, but in case it is deployed, then some kind of backward compatibility also has to be ensured. Let's look at the complete end-to-end -end, uh, deployment scenario of uh, uh, the MCC uh, as a network. We see here that we have different servers. Each server has its own functionality. Let's name a few. We have the application server. Uh, we have the unified service broker function that identifies the nature of service that a customer is looking for and uh, uh, returns the addressing information through which a customer can actually reach out to the server uh, from which it can get the service. Uh, then uh, there is the log server that maintains all the transactions which are taking place over this network. Then there is the communication telephony integration function, which is uh, some kind of uh, multimedia telephony like uh, voice over IP, video over IP, uh, multimedia messaging uh, mechanism is provided. So the communication telephony integration function actually ensures that uh, the customer is connected to the right kind of service in an integrated manner. Uh, then there is the uh, operation and maintenance server uh, which keeps the uh, network in operationally viable state. Now this is the MCC. Now the MCC network is connected externally to the uh, IMS core via the border gateway and the software control management function and the multimedia call distribution function. Uh, let's discuss them uh, each briefly. The software control management actually implies the invocation, revocation, grant, deny kinds of mechanisms for software access and software management for all the software modules and software functions which are provided by the MCC network. Then we have the call distribution function which is uh, the multimedia content call if it is between two parties or if it's a conference call then some kind of uh, connectivity has to be ensured between the calling party and the called party in a one-on-one -on -one or one-to-many situations. So you see here that uh, we have the uh, multimedia communication center which is connected to the IMS core through these entities like SCMF, MCDF and the service support uh, function and through border gateway. Now you see here that uh, the dotted line is actually the signaling and the continuous line is actually showing the flow of uh, uh, user information or uh, user traffic. This all sums up how our agents, which is actually the uh, customer agents, are now talking to uh, the users via the firewall in order to make sure that uh, each customer gets a prioritized treatment.